Hundreds gathering outside the state capitol to protest a controversial bill targeting illegal immigration. It already passed the House last week, and today it went to the floor of the Senate. News Force Capitol Bureau Chief Kaylee Olivas was there for the debate, and she joins us now live with the latest, Kaylee. Yeah, Kevin, Heather, there's been a ton of Democratic pushback, but even with that pushback, both the House and the Senate have passed this bill as of this afternoon. Now, this proposal is in response to a Texas law being stalled in federal court right now, prohibiting, quote, sanctuary cities, which would disallow law enforcement officers from asking about someone's immigration status. Oklahoma's version, requested by the state attorney general, authored by the Speaker of the House and Senate pro tempore, says anyone who willfully and without permission enters Oklahoma could be subject to a fine and one to two years in jail. Now, upon their release from custody, they then have 72 hours to pack up and leave Oklahoma. Many Democrats made clear today they fear this opens the door to legal racial profiling and say Oklahoma will lose out on approximately $26 million in state income taxes annually collected from undocumented immigrants. Also, the Senate pro tempore admitted this will likely be challenged in court, but he says he and the speaker worked on the language with the attorney general to ensure they have a leg to stand on. Other Republicans backing the challenge. This is an issue of safety for the people that live here, and it is our responsibility not to put it aside and pretend like it's not a problem because it is a problem. What are they going to stop for, for, for not putting your blinker on? Yes, you're going to have people who are stopped because of the way they look. And we're going to try to put those folk in jail because of why? The way they look. You can deny that all you want. That is the thing that's going to occur. In a statement, A.G. Getner Drummond, he says the state, oh, excuse me, quote, the state Senate sent a clear message today that public safety is a priority in Oklahoma. If the president won't secure the nation's border, then our state must step in to protect Oklahomans. Now this measure will go to the governor's desk and he will either veto it or sign it into law. Here at the Capitol, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. All right.